So the Jurassic Coast Earth Festival is a one-year festival to coincide with the Olympics. The world's eyes for a couple of weeks, uh, and perhaps broader, are going to be on Dorset as well as London. Many people are totally unaware that we have what is effectively our version of the Grand Canyon. It's on our doorstep and it needs to be exposed to people. Good evening everybody, welcome to Etude. Etude is the Jurassic Coast Earth Festival's only international performance. As many of you will know, the Jurassic Coast tells the story of 185 million years of the Earth's history. Coast Earth Festival is a lens that enables you to travel 180 million years into the Earth's history to understand about contemporary natural sciences. So it's about understanding about climate change, it's about understanding about extinction, it's an understanding of the need to conserve the natural environment. Yeah. 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 We've not done anything like this before. Unique. <laughs> yeah, it's unique. Very enjoyable. Complete surprise. So lots and lots and lots of different things, cultural, artistic and natural heritage, go to make up this enormous celebration along the Jurassic Coast. It's amazing. Why is it amazing? It's just how it works and everything like that. Yay! The invited guests are asked to take their seats in the Marine Theatre for the launch party of the 2012 Fossil Festival. The annual Lyme Regis Fossil Festival that's been going on for some years has evolved into something larger. Today's the big day. Today's the kickoff for the Jurassic Coast Earth Festival. There's events happening in Exmouth, there's events happening in Swanage, Weymouth, Lowellworth, wherever. There is something happening as part of the Earth Festival brochure, which is absolutely fantastic. UNESCO have this phrase about world heritage to make it a function in the life of the community. And I think the Fossil Festival very much exemplifies that. It's a community event in Lyme Regis, although it gets people in from all over the country. It's a, something which is a positive thing for Lyme Regis, and it's happened because of the World Heritage Site. I've learned that um, there were over a million um, dinosaurs um, around about three million years ago. I would like them to take away uh, an interest in fossils and evolution and the natural sciences. I just want them to be inspired to want to know more about a whole range of things that the World Heritage Coast has to offer. Well, the benefit has been that we're part of a much bigger thing. It's just wonderful to be part of a team. It's amazing. Why is it amazing? It's just how it works and everything like that. The Pliosaur brings to the Earth Festival, I think, probably the real children's fascination in dinosaurs and all things Jurassic and engage the parents in those things through the children, really. Did you think it was scary in there? Um, no, I thought it was really exciting. I think that children, if they can touch things and, and actually be involved with it, it makes it a lot more of an interesting experience. I've ankle deep on these disgusting. It was basically quite disgusting, really. Oh. Well, because it ate quite a lot of things and he didn't really, you know, clean up. Should we do that? Do you want to finish the bit you were doing first and then we'll flip it over and uh, we'll be able to see the other side of it better then? I've been booked to come here to work on this Earth Festival project, uh, building these enormous local insects. Right, any little gaps you can see, see like these little bits, just try and fill them in. Well, the Earth Festival, of course, is made up of lots and lots of different kinds of events. This would fit into the natural environment category. So this is a celebration of the natural environment local to West Bay and to Bridport. And that includes the Jurassic Coast, but also the wildlife and history as well. 
really nice having an event down in West Bay because you get all the local children as well as the people that are visiting and they're staying in the local campsites. We're camping in Fleet. Yep. And we come from Woking. Woking in Surrey. We haven't got any paint on holiday with us and we don't normally do it at home. I hope we stay here all day. Would you like to come through now, please? And if I may see your boarding cards? Thank you, and welcome to Jurassic Airlines. First of all, we take you through normal procedures, such as check-in. We then take you through security with our 3D Humili scanner. Um, again, with messages about the Jurassic Coast and the environment. As part of the Earth Festival, on board is a fusion of many different disciplines in art, science, geology, it's multi-layered, it sort of reflects the, the, the nature of the Jurassic Coast, which is all made up of layers. I learnt fossil fuels came from the Cretaceous period. You've got to come and experience it for yourself, I don't think, because it's so unique, I don't think there's anything out there to compare it with. The Jurassic Coast offers us a huge resource in terms of medicine. The idea was to find a collection of people first who would in some way manufacture, but not necessarily literally, artefacts that could be shipped across to another World Heritage Site. 26 or 27? Are you sure it's 27? When Sue and Sally found me, I didn't actually know how many bones there were in the field, which was a little bit embarrassing. And I had to count them up. We happened upon this musical box. We converted everybody's timelines into minutes, which was the smallest time frame. And then we um, applied a logarithm of 53, which is 26 and 27 added together, to get all the numbers squashed down, but still of relative value. And so we have kind of achieved what we really hoped to have, actually, without knowing that that's the form it would take. So we've got a kind of expressive form of all those timelines set against the geological timeline and it's hand operated. You've just got to go and talk about yourself for half an hour, how hard can it be? And she was right, you know, just talking to people about something you really enjoy, something you're passionate about, it wasn't very difficult. For us, being part of the Earth Festival and this particular project, Rock Around the Coast, it means it gives us a great opportunity to promote Portland. It's an island where obviously the urban areas are really close to the wildlife areas and close to the cliffs. And those cliffs themselves have lots of history through quarrying or being part of a defence establishment. So throughout the journey, you're seeing history inter intertwined with wildlife and geology. What do you think you've learnt today? How like the rocks were formed in the shape they are now. Really get close up and really get to understand the boundary between the Upper Jurassic into the Cretaceous period. Why we've got to get the wind to Weymouth is because Weymouth and wind begin with the same letter. I thank the writers for that. The festival is about getting to people who wouldn't otherwise discover how interesting this all is. What's the lifetime value of a young person who discovers an ammonite? You know, if that relationship is nurtured through all their lives, that's a great way for them to get involved in the sciences and not just the natural sciences, but science more generally. So I get him ready for you in the morning. I brush his teeth and I polish his flippers. They told us all about evolution so it could change one of us into something like a reptile or an amphibian. Maybe one day the human race might evolve into something much, much better.